Matt, this is ITOR, we're with Future Facilities, a predictive modeling company. And we got our start as a CFD, CFD modeling roughly 10 years ago and have branched into operations using predictive simulation. Now what our goal is to do is make sure you can retain the full capacity of your data center. Now a lot of data centers, um, you know, they kind of reach 70% capacity utilization before they reach those stress points where they start to see overheating IT equipment and their resilience is no longer where it used to be. So we have a new a service provided called ACE, which stands for uh, Availability, Capacity, and Energy Efficiency. And we use these three points of a triangle to give you a uh, quantitative metric for you know, calculating your, your ACE assessment score, so to speak. And in doing this, we can see where your data center is compared to where you were from design. And the reason why that 70% benchmark is reached where you can't fill your data center to full capacity is because design is different than your everyday operations. You design for front to back generic equipment, generic loads, and as you install IT equipment throughout the data center, that actually fragments your infrastructure resources. Uh, your cooling goes to different locations than what you've designed for. Your power breakers may not be balanced anymore, and that creates this you know, difference between what you design and you know, where you're going. Now using the ACE assessment, we can actually evaluate where you are today, and we can use the simulation technology to predict where we're gonna go in the future and kind of unwind the clock so we can you know, correct mistakes that we might have made deploying IT equipment and prevent future mistakes from being um, from happening. So this is an uh, example of our software, Six Sigma ET, as well as operations. We go down to the server level design, and we have a suite of software from designing servers to cabinets to data centers all the way through operation. They're all interchangeable between software platforms. So this walkthrough, which is made in the software, Again, it's a visual representation of your data center as well as a logical and mathematical representation. And we have, go inside ACUs, we can get cooling unit information, fan power, you know, the type of fan that you use is going to affect the air distribution in your data center space. Now, as we move around the facility, we can go into hot aisle, cold aisle, building containment. Any type of data center construction that you have, whether it be raised floor or false ceiling, that capability can be built into the model. We're not restricted to your traditional perimeter cooling design. We have the capability to, uh, to model anything that, that anything that you have. So that is uh, the goal of predictive simulation. It is a more or less a DCIM tool using simulation um, in order to maintain capacity in your data center.